Uh, welcome back. It's that time again when we take a look at what's happening across the world by taking a look at the headlines across the world. And we're going to have our usual papers on our screen just to see what's big across the world. That scandal with the Vatican uh, official is a huge news across many of the Western papers. But starting us off is the African news that's going to tell us what is happening with the election and the campaign that's happening in Rwanda. So apparently the uh, Kagame's female uh, uh, challenger is facing ex exclusion from Rwanda's presidential race. This is after she failed to come up with the, uh, the uh, required number of signatures that every candidate uh, want, who wants to run for the presidential seat is supposed to come up with before being, uh, you know, giving the go-ahead to actually go uh, start their campaigns and actually be eligible to run for office and, you know, win. So there has been allegations that she is facing a lot of, ex uh, you know, um, intimidation, especially her supporters, and we know what came up a few uh, uh, weeks ago, months ago, when uh, pictures, undesirable pictures came up on the internet and some allegations were this was part of the intimidation. Then we have the BBC and that Vatican official is making headlines. He's one of the top Australian uh, officials. And then this, it says uh, the headline for that story is a sex offence charges for Vatican money man. So he's one of the top uh, advisors to the Pope and you know this is being termed as a historic sexual offence charges against him. There is no clear indication of the, what kind of charges are he's facing but he has said he's, he will be coming back home to Australia where this alleged uh, uh, offences happened uh, to clear his name. It is said that 4,444 offences happened under his um, you know, watch over the uh, Catholic Church in Australia. Then we are having the CNN also leading with that story on the right. Their headline today is Vatican official charged with multiple sex uh, uh, offences so I'm not going to beat that down. There's more on uh, uh, as, uh, news across the world. There's more on that uh, on some other happenings across the world. From North Korea, they're saying Pentagon has new options on North Korea. So this means they have found a new way to deal with um, the missile test that North Korea has been doing incessantly over the past uh, year. Then we're having ISIS reveals death and destruction in Mosul. This is a developing story. Both stories are developing. Then we're having the Daily Monitor telling us more on what's happening on elections in Kadondo East. A by-election is ongoing and you know uh, it has started today as early as 5 a.m. Uh, in um, 93 polling stations in that um, part of Uganda. So they will be giving us more. Bobby Wine, the musician, is also running for office uh, in that part of Uganda. So we'll be uh, taking a look at that to see if he does make it. He's a messenger, was campaigning yesterday for some of the candidates he supports in that um, by-election. Let's move on to the next paper and see what's making headlines. The Washington Post is still dealing with the health situation in the United States, and it says how the push for Senate health care vote fell apart amid GOP tensions. We know that the GOP was pushing to have Obamacare repealed. They couldn't do it because it came out that this uh, new deal, that this new health care plan is not as good as they would want everyone to believe and in fact would lead a lot, leave a lot more people uninsured in the health um, uh, sector, by the health sector of the United States. So clearly this is not working out as uh, probably Donald Trump wanted uh, it to work out because this was one of the big uh, campaign pro